What's up? What's up? <clears throat> People. So I'm here at this uh, uh, here at this uh, place getting unloaded. Felt like I needed to get out the truck. It's so hot. It's hot and humid. It's been raining all day. Um, man. I'm not going to get paid for this, but every time I come here, I see all these trailers. If you need a trailer and you're trying to rent a trailer or whatever, you need to go holler at Fitz. Fitz Storage Trailers. Look at this. Fitz Storage Trailers. I don't know if I can get it in the view here. Yeah, go holler at them. If you're over here near Cincinnati, or well, Kentucky, Cincinnati, somewhere like that. Uh, but they cover the whole tri-state area. Man, last time I came here, they only had like a few trailers. It was only like half the lot. But now they got about a hundred trailers. And they, uh, they paint them themselves. You can tell they paint them. It smell like paint out here. But uh, what I wanted to talk about was that miles per gallon. Uh, recently, as you all know, I got a new truck right back there. Um, so when I got it, I noticed, of course, it's a new truck, you know, so your miles per gallon is going to be a whole lot more. And every truck is different. So just to help some of y'all out, if you're trying to increase your uh, miles per gallon, get a new truck. I'm just playing. But anyway, uh, when I had my 2016, I uh, I was doing good at first. When I first got that truck, it was a 2016 International. When I first got it, it had 250,000 miles on it. And then I was, I was running hard and uh, what happened was um, I was getting like seven miles to the gallon. So I was doing pretty good. When I turned the truck in, it had 350,000 miles on it. So I drove pretty much 100,000 miles in less than a year. Uh, I only had the truck like, I think I got it last year, like June, no, July, cause I came home July. Yeah, I had got it at the end of July. Uh, so less than a year, I put 100,000 miles on it. Now, before I handed in the truck, I switched the trucks over. Um, my fleet manager had called me. He said, you know, uh, we got to work on that miles per gallon. Now, you know, every company is different. I know some companies have a uh, fuel bonus where you, you know, you get a bonus for saving fuel. Uh, rail kind of has something like that for those that don't know uh, you know rail has this this point system and I believe you get points for fuel if you look at your chart or whatever uh, on the app and all that stuff you will see that it says MPG right under all that other stuff that you get points for and them points add up and every quarter you know you get like that raise but you know what I'm saying? I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that. But uh, before, I didn't even notice it. So, actually, you know, I didn't really care about the miles per gallon, to be honest with you. When I first got in this truck, I was happy. You know, I'm new to trucking. Uh, got my first truck. You know, I'm excited. So, um, all that other stuff, I don't, I don't care, you know. Miles per gallon, who cares? But, uh... That was then. That was when I first started. So my fleet manager, you know, he told me a couple ways to save the fuel. And this was this was later on. This was probably about a month ago. Uh, he told me ways to save the fuel, you know. And every way he told me, <laughs> I was doing the opposite of that. Like, one, one thing he told me was when you first start off, don't press the gas. Like, you know, don't, like, like pedal to the metal type thing. Cause that's what I've been doing. 
pedal to the metal like straight up i don't care i'm putting the pedal all the way to the ground let this thing roar you know what i mean so i was like yeah you know that's what i'm doing i ain't gonna lie he was like well you know that's one reason why you're losing fuel so i was like okay now in the beginning uh when i first got the truck or whatever when i first started with the company like i said i, I didn't i didn't care about no miles per gallon I, it, well, it's not my truck i'm not paying for fuel i don't care uh but as i got into trucking and all this other stuff you know i uh you know was doing research on the industry and uh and yeah so like i said in my other videos you know i'm good i'm, I'm gonna get my own truck so I said, well, shoot, you know, let me not, you know, be, be stupid about it, you know, uh, not stupid. I would say uh, ignorant, I guess you want to call it. Let me not be ignorant to the fact that, you know, fuel costs a lot of money. If this was my truck, I'd be killing myself. I'd probably be out of business because I'm just pedal to the metal all day long. And... I'm sure it would have put me out of business. So I thought about it. I said, well, hey, while I have company truck, you know, all that good stuff, let me, uh, let me put the practice in. You know, let me start now learning how to save fuel so when I get my own truck, you know, start my own company and all that good stuff, you know, fuel ain't gonna cause me to go bankrupt. Because I hear, you know, that's the most, that's the biggest cost that makes, you know, uh, owner operators, you know, your own authority that makes them go bankrupt. So, you know, so let me practice that now. So I started uh, with the old truck. Oh, another thing he told me, this is what, this is what really got me right here. He said, Mike, uh, use cruise control and go 63 miles an hour so hold on i got a call coming in hold on just a moment here all right so sorry about that that was uh somebody had called that's my wife actually calling me but um so he said mike why don't you um cruise control and go 63 miles an hour i said cruise control cruise control like what man i'll pedal to the metal man i ain't no cruise control i ain't think cruise control did it so i actually did cruise control for a whole day whole trip 63 miles an hour felt like i was going two miles an hour i did cruise control next day had like seven miles to the gallon almost eight so I've been, I started doing that, you know, until I traded in the truck. Then I got the new one, 2019, same thing. So I kept the same practice going. Cruise control on 63. Now, of course it's a new truck. So I'm gonna get more than what I got on the other truck. I almost got nine gallon, nine miles per gallon on this thing. Just going cruise control 63. Now, the difference between this truck and the other truck, I can actually go 65 uh, cruise control and uh, still get it about eight miles to the gallon. You know, it's a new truck. The other truck, I can't go 65 with that 2016 International. I couldn't go uh, 65 on cruise control because then I'd be getting like five and six miles per gallon. So I know that truck's been running longer and all that stuff. I get that. But, uh, but yeah. Telling you, if you're trying to increase, and this don't even have to go for real, just go for anybody else that be like, man, I'm not getting no fuel bonus, or you know, shoot, even if you ain't getting no bonus, you just want to increase your miles per gallon. Take it from me, trust me. Do uh, cruise control 63 to 65 miles an hour, that's all you got to do all you got to do so 
That's all I got for today. Getting loaded. Man. Ooh, it's hot. I need to be working out. I'm about to start a, a, a workout challenge up in this thing. So I can lose this belly. So y'all gonna see. I'm gonna get that started after my hometown. Uh, because I'm going to Vegas. So it's my wife's birthday. Got something a little special for her. But uh, we going to Vegas. So after that is when I'm gonna start the uh, lose my belly challenge. You know what I mean? So y'all drive safe. Keep those wheels turning.